I'll be honest, you know, I, I, I used to think Devin Haney was the most boring fighter in the dance sport. But at least Devin Haney tries to knock people out. It's just Devin Haney just has the inferior, you know, genetics, you know. His genetics are beyond horrible with his sloppy legs and his, his like, his weak body frame. body frame and all that stuff you know but Shakur that's that guy will put anybody to sleep outside the ring not inside the ring because that's like he's the most boring fighter in the history of boxing And they can say whatever the fuck they want. They can hype him up and all that stuff. But I, I, I really feel bad for him because there's no way they can put him on pay-per-view. He can't sell a fight. Tank by knockout. I think Rosie suck. I think he's like one of the worst boxers in boxing. Like I feel like uh, he don't fight nobody, but um, he just getting an opportunity. I guess right now he don't fight anybody. When he had a hard fight, he lost. Um, you want to talk about how I look in my fight with Nakati? Well, I won every round, but he fought that dude and he clearly lost the fight, and they gave him the fight. So uh, that was a bad night for him. A bad night for me is me dominate. You ain't hear nobody saying uh, Nakatia got robbed or nothing like that. So I watch him fight. I don't, I'm not impressed. I think he uh, garbage. Um, he needed to just stop talking shit. He talk a bunch of shit, and now um, in due time, take on put him to sleep. I can't wait. What's good, Just Do family? It's your boy KB back to get boxing. It's Just Do one more time. This your first time on the channel. Join the fam, smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, smash that bell icon so you can be notified when I drop new content. Man, we over here, we grown, we on the road to 10K. Let's get to it, man. So, which I just heard was none other than Roly Romero. You know, he did an interview giving his thoughts on Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson. Nothing new. And this was a while back, but it's just something that came across. So I thought it was in interesting nonetheless. How he sat up there and said, you know, you know, he used to think Devin Haney was the most boring fighter in boxing and things like that. But at least he tries to knock people out with his, you know, his like and weak genetics, and, you know, weak body frame, sloppy legs and things like that. And I had to show the clip where Devin Haney is deadlifting 295, man. That kid is strong. He's, he's in some of the best shape that he can be in in his life. And the last thing that you ever see or think about when you see Devin Haney as him having sloppy legs. That couldn't be more further away from the truth. And again, Roley just back at it, running his mouth, you know, said he's inferior genetics and things like that. But he said Shakur, Shakur will put anybody to sleep. He's the most boring fighter in boxing history. You can try to hype him up if you want. He can't sell and things like that. And last time I checked, you know, Shakur Stevenson fights on ESPN, right? He fights for top rank. And, you know, up until a couple Saturdays ago where he beat up Yoshino, you know, all his fights peaked out well over a million viewers. So at the end of the day, somebody's watching him. And I, I seriously doubt that he's anywhere near close to the most boring fighter in boxing. You know, he displays the sweet signs at the highest of levels. You get, get what I'm saying? It's hit and not get hit. And he's one of the best defensively sound fighters we have today in all of boxing. You know, so it wasn't, doesn't really surprise me that a Roly Romero would call that the hit and not get hit style boring. But maybe I don't know if Roly caught Shakur Stevenson's last fight, but 
you know, that sixth round TK over Yoshino was very highly entertaining. I was in the building at the Prudential Center. I had great seats. Shakur walked his man down the entire fight. He took the fight to him. He stood in the pocket. He he landed great body shots. I mean, he had a crisp jab. Again, man, his body work is just very impressive over these last two fights. And his first fight at 135, he looked damn good. He looked like he filled out pretty damn well at the weight class. He looked a lot stronger. Or should I say he looks considerably stronger, which would be problems for anybody he get in the ring with at 135. So I totally disagree a million percent with Roley Romero. I don't think neither Devin Haney or Shakur Stevenson is born. I think everybody has their styles. And although they're not pure punchers, they're pure boxers and they display the sweet signs at the highest of levels, man. And when they actually have an opportunity to fight each other, that will be one of the most entertaining chess matches in all of boxing between Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson. But, you know, I noticed Roley Romero always has something smart to say. And he says every everything about these guys, but let's fight. And I, for one, I would like to see Shakur Stevenson fight a Roley Romero just because he talks so much. You get what I'm saying? So he can learn that his level's to this. You know what I'm saying? And I know damn for sure he wouldn't want to go anywhere near Shakur Stevenson. So that's my thoughts, man. That's my just do on it. Y'all get in the comment section. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all believe Roley? Do y'all agree with Roley, should I say? Do y'all feel like Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson are the most boring boxers in the world? And then he doubled down and said Shakur. Is even more boring than a Devin Haney. He puts everybody to sleep. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all agree? Would y'all care to see a future fight between these two dudes? And let me know, as always, in that comment section if I gave boxing is just do. Because that's what I do over here, just do boxing. To the next one, we out. <laughs>